there have always been some pretty smart people around the world as well as you know not so smart people but it's amazing to see that there are some kids out there who before the age of 10 have already achieved what most of us would only dream to achieve in our entire lives which if you think about it is a real life speed run but let's take a look at some of these amazing nerds take for example Lawrence Simons a Belgian human from the coastal town of Ostend when this boy was 11 he completed his graduation from the University of Antwerp with a bachelor's degree in physics. This makes Lauren the second youngest to graduate in the world. Not bad, I guess, but the youngest graduate in the world is another little kid named Michael Kearney, who completed his bachelor's degree in 1994 at the age of 10 from the University of South Alabama. Eha. Anyway, Lauren started primary school when he was only four, which is 33 years earlier than most, but he went on to high school at the age of six, which at that time I was pretending to vaccinate myself with mechanical pencils. But after completing high school within a year, Lauren went on to attend the university, which I can only imagine was to binge Capri Suns and stay after bedtime. No, I'm just kidding. Our homeboy Lauren completed his graduation in just one year, which usually takes, you know, like three to four years to complete. It's pretty amazing stuff. However, now he wants to pursue what Voldemort miserably failed to achieve, immortality. Lauren intends to do this by making a revolution in the field of artificial organs. According to him, graduation is just the first puzzle piece in his whole replacing body parts with mechanical ones plan. At this point, Simons is the real life example of Sheldon Cooper from The Big Bang Theory who completed his high school education in just one and a half years at the age of eight. Now remember how Lauren was the second youngest to graduate? You see, he could have actually became number one. You see, at the age of nine, Lauren was on the verge of becoming the world's youngest graduate. Lauren was studying electrical engineering at the Eidenhoven University of Technology in the Netherlands, and he was supposed to complete the three-year electrical engineering degree in just 10 months so he could meet his birthday deadline. Lauren's parents wanted him to graduate before his 10th birthday on December 26th so that he could be the youngest graduate in university, but Eidenhoven University said that there were too many exams Lauren yet needed to take, so the university offered a mid-2020 graduation date, but his parents refused and immediately removed Lauren from the university. Yikes. I mean, I would say that most people would be mad about being number two, but you see, our boy Lauren is built different. I'm built different. Simon said to a Dutch paper, newspaper, I don't care if I'm the youngest, it is all about acquiring the knowledge for me. Immortality, that is my goal. Well, let's just hope that we have him on our good side when he grows up. Eventually, Laurent went to the University of Antwerp to complete his graduation. Simons is now striving to obtain his master's degree in physics from the University of Antwerp while working on his PhD simultaneously. Now, you might think that Laurent probably reads physics books for fun, but surprisingly, he loves to play Fortnite and Minecraft and also watch Netflix. At least we can relate to that. Now, our homeboy has an IQ of 145 which is pretty impressive however let's meet another nerd Marilyn Voss Savant who has an IQ of 228 one of the highest ever recorded and she was named the person with the highest IQ by the Guinness World Records she held that rank for three years in a row now let's take a look at her life how she rose to fame and some unfortunate controversies surrounding her life Marilyn was a bright kid from the beginning she took her IQ test when she was 10 years old and showed the mental credentials of a 22 year old which is my age. Anyway, she was born into the family of coal miners and led a normal childhood, and as a student, Marilyn was very good at science, math, and had a deep passion for writing. She used to write clips for local magazine while helping her father in his work, which is all pretty impressive. But how did she get on our radar if she seemed pretty normal? Well, you see, in 1986, after getting the title of the highest IQ in the world from the Guinness Book of World Records, her popularity grew substantially. Now, with the legendary reputation, she moved to New York to pursue her dream of being a writer. And after moving to New York, she started writing a column for Parade magazine, and Parade really said it's free real estate since they featured her on the magazine as the smartest person in 
in the world, and of course that gained a lot of attention. Her column was named Ask Marilyn, where surprisingly readers did just that. However, in 1990, Marilyn triggered one of the greatest mathematical controversies of the time. She was asked by one of her readers to solve the famous Monty Hall problem. The problem is named for its similarity to the game show Let's Make a Deal, which was hosted by Monty Hall. How convenient. Here is how it goes. There are three doors. Behind two of the doors there are goats and behind the other door is a shiny new car. Now let's assume you pick door number one. However, before the revelation the host teases you and opens one of the other doors with a goat and then he asks you, do you want to change doors or keep the first choice? Should you switch? That is the issue here. Now the answer is to switch doors as that would increase your chances of winning. Yes, it's not intuitive but it is the right answer mathematically. This was the answer that our dear Brainiac Marilyn wrote, however she was met with massive backlash from everyone from the average person to university professors who called her unreasonable. However, all of them had to kiss a good night because she later expanded her answer and she indeed was right. Now if you want to watch more awesome content watch this video right here. Stay sharp and prove again. I'll see you on the next one.